Hi, everyone. This is Inspirally Natural with Leslie Suzette back again for another weekly video. I am, as usual, excited about what we're going to talk about today. Last week, we talked about getting our shine on, making sure we are doing what we have been purposed to do. And so, you know what? Since we were talking about putting our shine on, I wanted to share with you some fragrances that I don't think get enough shine and I want to shine for them and with them today. So today we'll be talking about some fragrance myths that I think are really, really good, but I don't think they get enough shine. So I hope that you'll stay tuned and come back and watch this video. It's going to be a fun one. I'll see you when we get back. Hey, thanks. Thanks for coming back. This is Leslie Suzette with Inspiringly Natural or the other way around. Inspiringly Natural with Leslie Suzette. We talk about all things beauty, all things fragrance, and all things self-care. I want to start off today by reminding you that we are here, I am here, to inspire as many women and men, if you so desire to watch me, as I can to be your most best, yes, and most beautiful selves, both inside and outside. So I'm going to start today off with just a little bit about my fragrance combos of the day. It's going to be short, sweet, and to the point so we can get to the real content, the meat of this video. So today, I'm starting with my lotion, and it's by Goose Creek, a company that I was turned on to probably a about three, maybe four months ago, maybe a little less. And I was highly impressed because the sales were kicking you all. They were amazing. They were just like, I could get lotion for $1.99. I could get fragrance mist for $2.99. And the, it, it was just amazing. It was during the holidays. So this one is Marshmallow Sugar by Goose Creek. And this one has notes of fluffy marshmallow batter like a cake batter or a waffle batter warm vanilla bean and cream and you all this one is so so sweet but marshmallowy sweet and i just love this so i put this on this is what i'm wearing today and i tell you it along with my you know what cocoa radiant body oil by vaseline mixed with this just makes my skin so soft but this makes it so sugary sweet and so I also uh, wore, um, yeah, Signature by Mont Blanc. I'm dropping things over here, you all. Signature by Mont Blanc. You all know how much I love Signature by Mont Blanc. It's one of my top five vanilla fragrances or vanilla based fragrances. And this one has notes of Clementine, Ylang Ylang, Magnolia, Peony, Vanilla, white musk and benzoin and this one is the clementine and vanilla it's just so so bright but vanilla -y. i know that's not a word but it has that rich vanilla but it's bright because of that mandarin orange or that clementine orange excuse me that clementine orange makes it really sweet and just bright and kind of kicks up that vanilla a bit so i mixed this today you all because i wanted that orange sickle smell and you all should know what i mixed it with yes oriana <laughs> yeah, Miss Oriana by Parfums de Marley. Now, you all, Oriana has that mandarin orange, that bergamot, the grapefruit, but it also has the orange blossom, the raspberry, the black currant, the whipped cream, and marshmallow. That's why these two went so well together. And then it also has that musk and ambrette or that musk mallow, and that just made the two of these just make a beautiful orange orange sickle that's just bright and fresh and the the weather today was a little warm so i felt that i just needed to brighten it up with some orange and with that bergamot in the oriana mixed with that marshmallow it was sugary sweet but yet bright so it just had me f just feeling ladylike sweet gentle you know it's just that wonderful kind of sunday morning that had me just smelling real sweet and nice y'all so that's what i wore today that's my combo for today so i'm excited about what we're going to share today yes we're going to talk about those 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 um 
fragrance mess that don't get enough love. And I feel that I need to put some love on them, give them some love and shout them out today. So we could either call this shout out Sunday or we could put uh, call this uh, show some love too. I mean, however you want to, you know, phrase it or open it up. I'm going to use them interchangeably, but I'm going to shout out today my first one. And that's by Goose Creek. Now I'm telling you this Goose Creek brand you, uh, don't sleep on Goose Creek. Don't sleep. I am so glad I was introduced to Goose Creek. I was watching some of the content creators and they kept talking about Goose Creek. And I was like, I've never heard of Goose Creek. I should have heard about Goose Creek by now. So I just went on the website and I saw that they were a great candle company. They had really nice candles, great sales, you know, somewhat close to, you know, a Bath and Body Works. But they had tremendous sales all the time. And so I started to buy a candle, but then I saw that they had the lotions and the body mist for like $1.99 the day that I went on. And so I said, I'm going to start with those. And I eventually went ahead and purchased some of those candles, which of course I have one, you know, the marshmallow one burning right now since we opened up with a little marshmallow sugar. I said, why not burn marshmallow sugar today? And it smell, it has my room smelling just wonderfully sweet and bright and just ooey gooey. I just love it. So this one, I want to introduce to you a fragrance mist that I don't think gets enough shine. So I want to shout it out. Marshmallow waffle cone, marshmallow waffle cone, marshmallow waffle cone is so so, so delightful, you all. It has notes of fluffy marshmallow, vanilla bean butter, batter, and dipped waffle cone. You all, this one is so, so fluffy. And this one, now the one I showed you earlier, the marshmallow sugar has batter. This one has butter. So this one is a little different, but it is so fluffy, so sweet, very similar to the marshmallow sugar, but a little more uh, waffle coney. Because if you've ever gone to one of your favorite ice cream shops, or if you've ever gone to a carnival and you've had a waffle cone, you know the smell of a waffle cone is very similar to the smell of like a, a batter or a like a waffle, of course. It's, and it's just so cake like to me. And this smell it's just sweet and waffle coney and sugary and I'm making all kind of words up, but just, just, just picture in your mind, a waffle cone warm off the, off the um, iron and they roll it up for you and they put your favorite ice cream in it. And it's just so delicious you all. So that, and I have the, the, um, the lotion that goes with it. It is so sweet and nice. And I love this one. And I wanted to shout it out today. So that's Goose Creek's Marshmallow Waffle Cone. So this next fragrance mist, you all, I want to give it all kinds of love. Hugs and kisses all around it. You all, this one is what I would call grown and sexy. At the same time, I feel that a young adult woman could wear this one if they want it to be grown and sexy. But for me, I like to wear it standalone, but I also love you all to layer this with some of my favorite perfumes, some of my, some of my celebrity perfumes, some of my perfumes that have cashmere in it or musk um, or even peach. Um, this one works so well with many of my amazing perfumes, and I'm sure it will work with yours. This one is, this fragrance mist is by none other than Bath and Body Works, and it's called Cashmere Glow. Cashmere Glow. Cashmere Glow, you all, has notes of golden peach, lily petal, shimmering vanilla, and cashmere musk. And you all, this is a grown and sexy fragrance mist. When I say it has that youthfulness of uh, with that golden peach, 
but it has that grown and sexy with the shimmering vanilla, the cashmere and the lily petals. You are a feminine fox. That's what I'm going to call it today. And I don't think that Cashmere Glow gets enough love. And I just wanted to shout it out today. If you want to be a fragrance fox, a foxy mama, a grown and sexy foxy female, you get yourself a bottle of this Bath and Body Works Cashmere Glow. You can stand it alone. It's just that sexy, honey. And Or you can take it and you can layer it with some of your favorites. Now, I usually layer it with, um, if I want to do another fragrance mist, I usually layer it with Pretty as a Peach by Bath and Body Works. But I also, I layered this also with my Jessica Simpson fragrances. Um, I layer it with my, um, let's see. Yeah, my Jessica Simpson fragrance. Is this Jessica Simpson? Yes. It's a I can't remember it, you all, but I'll put it in the 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 information below if I remember. But it goes so well with that and a couple of others that I will put in the comment box or in the description box for you. Because this one, I tell you, it's just that nighttime to me. I don't wear this during the day. Um, and I don't wear this usually in the spring. This is usually fall, winter for me. I may be able to get away with it in the spring. It just depends on what I layer it with. But you all, you want to go at night and just be foxy and sexy, get you some cashmere glow by Bath and Body Works. You will not be disappointed. Now, this next fragrance does not get enough love. I kind of think I know why this one does not get enough shine, but I want it to get it shine on today. But I'm going to also tell you why I don't think it gets enough shine. And this one is none other than, again, by our friends at Goose Creek. And that is Hibiscus Fruit Punch. Hibiscus Fruit Punch. Hibiscus Fruit Punch, you all. I don't think it gets enough love because it's very similar to Bath and Body Works. And I'm going to say this slowly. Red ripened raspberry. Now, if you want to know why I said that slowly, I think you need to go back and visit a, a, a video maybe two, three weeks ago where I talked about red ripened raspberry you will get the joke when you watch the video so go check that video out can't remember which video that was but i think it's about three weeks ago three or four weeks ago go check those videos out and you will get the joke so i think that's why hibiscus fruit punch does not get enough love because it is slightly similar to that Bath and Body Works fragrance, Red Ripened Raspberry. This one, though, by Goose Creek, has notes of Midnight Hibiscus, Soft Jasmine, Sweet Plum, Raspberries, Strawberries, Sugary Fruit Punch, and Icy Sugar. I don't think it is exactly like the Bath and Body fragrance that will remain nameless for now because I might mess it up again. Um, this one has that hibiscus and fruit punch. This one smells like the hibiscus, which is a beautiful flower and fruit punch. And it is just mouth watering good. I really like this one. And I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. I got it. You all for a dollar ninety nine, one dollar ninety nine cents. And you all, I am looking forward to wearing this out in the spring simply because of that hibiscus and the sweetness of that fruit punch. I also think I am going to layer this one with, yes, 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 that Burberry Her Elixir. Because that Burberry Her Elixir has that note of raspberry and strawberry that I think will work very well with this fragrance. So again, Hibiscus Fruit Punch by Goose Creek. Mwah, I'm giving you some love today. Yeah, so I'm excited about this one too. This fragrance mist. 
I don't think gets enough love. And I want to shout it out. I want to give it the love that it deserves. I don't want it to feel unloved. This one is a Victoria's Secret fragrance. And I don't know about you, but there's just a little more class, in my opinion, on a Victoria's Secret fragrance. Even the bottles have texture to it. And this one is not by, I mean, it is not exempt from that fragrance that is just female-like, elegant, and high-end, high-class to me. This one is Victoria's Secret Sparkling Creme. Sparkling Creme. Now, Sparkling Creme has glistening coconut and soft marshmallow. And it is, you all, just so, so beautiful. I love it. You all should see the sparkles on this thing. It is textured. It is raised on the bottle. I don't know if you can see that, but it is just raised and just fancy, fancy, fancy. I absolutely love this. And you all, when it says coconut, glistening coconut, whoo, and soft marshmallow, this one's hard to, dis well, it's not hard to describe. Let me tell you what this smells like to me. A pun I'm going to spray it again. When you spray this, you get a burst of first fresh air. So I love that about this because it has that glistening coconut. So it reminds me of being on, at, on the Virgin Islands or in the Bahamas or on a tropical island. And the first thing you get is a burst of fresh air. And then you get the hint of coconut and that hint of beautiful soft marshmallow hit you all at once. It is just like taking this on a on a on an island and just spraying it all day, being on the beach, and it is just the air is just hitting it. And all you do all day and that wind hits as that wind hits it, you're getting that whiff of coconut and marshmallow combined. It is quite a unique, in my opinion, fragrance mist. And that's why I love Victoria's Secret, because you're going to get something slightly different than you do with some of those others. And this is just absolutely breathtaking, in my opinion. I have worn this with the sparkling creme lotion and again, raised textures on the on the bottle. It's just in this tube, just raised and wearing these together. I don't, to be honest with you, have to layer or wear any perfume. I can smell this for about five to six hours and then it becomes a very good skin scent. This stuff is amazing. You all this sparkling creme and I ended up getting two bottles of this. Now I do layer it. I layer it with the Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday, and it is absolutely astounding. Now, if you want to amp it up and get that longevity, you spray that Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj with this sparkling creme, and you will get something that lasts at least seven, eight hours. It is absolutely beautiful, and that's Victoria's Secret Sparkling Creme. Well, this last fragrance mist is not least. I kept it last on purpose. I don't know how many of you know, but I really fell in love about two years ago, maybe with the um, strawberry cheesecake or strawberry pound cake. Yes, not cheesecake. Maybe I got cheesecake on the brain. Strawberry pound cake by Bath and Body Works. That's not the one I'm going to share with you. But I really fell in love with that probably because I have a love for strawberries and I love the scent of strawberry. I love Burberry Hurry Elixir. I love anything strawberries. I'm going to give it at least a shot. And I love it. I came upon this one at Goose Creek and it was $1.99. Now, I know I talked about the uniqueness and the sexiness and the um, just the high quality of Victoria's Secret. But for $1.99 from Goose Creek, this one also is quite unique in my opinion. And this one is called Strawberry Sponge Cake. Strawberry Sponge Cake. Now, I have layered this one with the Strawberry Pound Cake. And I'm telling you, both of them together, it's like knocked out the park. But this one by itself, I wanted to talk about 
how why I feel it doesn't get enough shine and should get shine today should be shouted out is because of the notes and every note that they say is in this strawberry sponge cake. I literally can smell it upon the first spray. I can smell it. I'm just going to spray it. You all, this has notes of strawberry cake, of course. It has notes of cream cheese. It has notes of icing, cream cheese icing, you all. And I love cream cheese icing. It has notes of lemon, vanilla, and buttercream. Every bit, every note I can smell when I spray this. When I say this is some kind of delicious. It makes me want to go to my local bakery and get me a strawberry shortcake. Now, I'm going to shout out a particular place. Okay. Cami Cakes. I have to travel to Jacksonville, Florida to get me a Cami Cake. But the last time I went to Cami Cakes in Jacksonville, Florida, they had what they call a strawberry, leave it's a strawberry type of cake. And you all, this is what that, this is what it reminds me of. This strawberry sponge cake reminds me of that beautiful strawberry cake that I get from Cami Cakes in Jacksonville, Florida. You all, if you want to smell like a strawberry cream, cheese, icing, lemon filled, buttercream dessert, <laughs> get yourself some strawberry sponge cake, fragrance mist from Goose Creek. Goose Creek, I'm shouting you out today. I shouted you out on a couple today. But this one, this is so delicious. I enjoyed that one. Goose Creek, strawberry sponge cake. Yeah, so we had to make a quick microphone switch because that one, you know, although cool and nice for podcasting, it was kind of shaky. It's kind of getting in the way. So my producer made a quick switch. And you all by now should know who my producer is. If you know who my producer is, go ahead and put in the comment section. He is just amazing. So listen, thank you so much. I hope that you enjoy those five fragrances that just need a little love, need a little bit of, of attention. And I want to put it out worldwide. Make sure that those those fragrances get the love that they so deserve. Like we all deserve. We all deserve that love. So, you know, I can't leave without some words of inspiration and encouragement. And today I want to say this. You are one of a kind. I'm going to try that again. So I want to look back up. You, 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 you are one of a kind. Yes. What in the world is, am I talking about? I am saying that there is no one like you. You might have a twin. You might have a triplet. All that good stuff. But not one single one of you are the same. You are uniquely you. And so I had to just let you know. No one can, even though they'll try to imitate you, they cannot be you, my dear. And I had to look up the word unique. So unique means being the only one of its kind, unlike anything else. But I had to take that a step further. Guess what I saw found? Existing as the one and only. Existing as the one and only or as the sole example. Solitary and type and characteristics. You are uniquely you. I don't know why people want to always change themselves. They want bigger this, bigger that. Smaller this, smaller that. You know what I'm talking about. And I understand some of it's for, you know, health purposes. Some of it's for cosmetic purposes. Some of it, you know, it's by choice. But we always want to be different by changing who we are. We think that better makeup will make us, you know, better. We think that, you know, better physical attributes will make us better. And although we might feel better or we might look better, we are still who we are. And that's what's special. What's special is who God made you on the inside as well as the outside. Listen, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. The scriptures say that. And I'm sticking to that. 
You are who you were meant to be. So, yes, we can better ourselves. We put the makeup on. We get the fragrances. We do all that stuff. But I wanted to, to know, I wanted you to know that you are uniquely you at your core. At your core, the things that you feel that are not of an asset or that nobody really will benefit from, those are the exact things that God made in you that draw people. And I just wanted to remind you, you are unique, you are special, and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. So listen, I want you to know that you are one of a kind, baby. There is no one like you. Just like there's nobody like our God, there is nobody like you because he made you. And you have been created to do great things in this earth. So until next time, I'm Leslie Suzette, all things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. Thanks for sharing this content. Thanks for hitting the like button. Thanks for making sure that you are notified by clicking and hitting that notification bell. And if you haven't subscribed, what in the world are you waiting on? It's okay. It's safe. You can hit the subscribe button because I will be so glad to see that you've done that and provide you with some more great content. So until next time, I'll see you then.